wonder why JJ not coming home. I hope he didn't forget about me. Oh, here he is. What a sleepy head. I should go and prank him. <laughs> he sleeps like a dead man. Boo! JJ, it's a prank, right? No, it can't be. Who did this to you? Come on, wake up. It doesn't seem to work at all. What happened here? JJ, don't run away. I'll look around this place and find the one who did this to you. It's been an hour. It seems in this village no one was left alive. Hmm, a brush? Well, then only I can solve this case then. There's a lot of evidence here. Even someone like me can be a great detective. Let's identify the instruments of the crime. I will mark each of them with a special circle and number, as the detectives did in the show. This pistol, for example, will be marked as evidence number one. Great, let's check other. This sniper rifle looks cool. I'll take it for the future investigation. The one who did the crime totally used it in its evil adventures. Evidence number two, the crossbow. He definitely only fired it once as the reload is quite long. Tagging evidence is quite a painstaking job. I can't rush it. The knife. Considering that there is no red on it and the blade looks shiny, then the suspect clearly used it to eat from it. What a villain. This is evidence number three. Oh, what a day. I didn't think that working as a detective was so difficult because I don't know how to put all these clues together. Oh, if only JJ was with me now, we would harvest wheat together. Hmm, I should see the farmer. Maybe he knows how to find a solution? Oh no, the barn is on fire. I definitely have to start putting out this whole fire. Oh, putting out fire with my hands hurts me and doesn't do me much pleasure. I have to use the water bombs. They will put out the fire many times faster. Time for my epic firefighting montage. It was the last fire spot. The whole fire was extinguished. Even the upper floor of the building was saved. The nature can breathe in freely. The farmer? Oh no, I should help him. This cold water balloon should wake him up. But first, I have to check if he's breathing. The check is done. Water delivery. Oh, my barn. It's saved. Is it you, Mikey? I don't think I have much time left. Listen to me and check the basement of... Wait, I'll call the help. Oh, no. What basement? Don't switch off on the half word like that. Well, now I have to search the whole village. Although, I saw one untouched house with a lock. Maybe a basement there. I have to go back to the village and take a closer look at the house where the headman lived. Everyone is still lying down. Even their foot shadows have fallen bravely. And here is the house that was locked during the attack. I wonder where the keys can be stored. Maybe here? Hmm, this house is empty too. Still, there should be spare lockpicks in the well. Yep, I see the chest down there. Now I can try to pick the lock. It shouldn't take long. Well, the first lock pick and then the subsequent ones quickly broke down. Still, storing iron underwater is not the wisest idea. They are covered with rust and are now very fragile. Well, it took a lot longer. Let's check it in. I've looked all over the house. I checked the cupboards, the corners of the house, and even under the carpet. It seems there's only one place left. What is this strange hatch? I'm going downstairs. Wow, what a nice bunker. It's strange that its owner is not here. Oh, what kind of gun is that? I hope he won't mind me keeping that. I looked at all the tables, but I couldn't find anything else. I think it's time to try on this weird costume. I feel
still quite protected, though heavy. Just like these doors. Oh, there's something behind them. Hmm. The computer is protected. I'll hack it by clicking on login. Hmm. What kind of video is this? Oh, my eyes. I can't watch it. No, I have to see this. Is that a priest? He seems to have lost his mind. Those poor villagers, he ended them all. Goodbye, cool basement. It's a pity that you will be abandoned. But first, I have to go home to get a new tool. Home, sweet home. It's pretty quiet here without JJ. Hmm, it's not here. And where could he have put it? He's always putting it in the wrong place. Maybe that tool is there? Ah, here it is, the camera. A tool that will help me record the incident, even if something happens later. I've seen photographers doing this in detective shows. I think I can do the same, don't you think? Now I should check the mine. Everything looks pretty quiet. What is this? Barbed wire? Who were they defending against? From wild animals? I hope the preacher wasn't here. I'm tired of seeing lying bodies already. Hmm, the road is quite short. I think I'll have time to rest while I ride on one of these trolleys. I think I'll take this one. I've always dreamed of riding a train, even such a small one. Hmm, I see a landslide ahead. I think I'll have to dismount and go around. Goodbye, old wooden trolley. You look way better than ordinary minecart. Well, I think I'll go up and see what's there. Oh no, I hope they're just lying down and resting. Say cheese! I think he would have liked this picture if he could breathe. An earthquake? Oh no! I'm going to get buried alive. I think I was lucky, but now the passage is blocked. What should I do now? Except for a tiny tunnel, there is no way out anymore. Only a shrink potion can save me. It's good that I memorized one recipe in the bunker while I was rummaging through the papers. It's good that all the ingredients can be found underground. All I have to do is mix them together and boil them down in this lab. I wonder why the miners need this lab here. Did they make weapons in secret from everyone? Hopefully now they won't be able to do it anymore. That's the technical tunnel through which I can get out of here. But first I need to pick up all the necessary materials for the potion and cook it. One by one, I throw the necessary ingredients into the pot. And while they are cooking, I will pick up wheat here and make myself bread, a fairly standard meal for people who earn little. I think I'll make myself some loaves of bread. From cooking the potion, I got a big appetite and hunger, which would be better to remove. And here our potion is ready. Let's check it out in action. We have successfully shrunk. Now it won't be difficult for me to squeeze into these tunnels and go outside. There's another passage here. I think I'd better take the right side and get out of here. Hmm, I didn't think there would be a maze here. It's good that I can feel the way out and easily find it in a moment. I have to hurry so I don't get stuck here. I'm going up the stairs to see what happened. Hmm, 
It seems the mine really collapsed. It's good that I know alchemy. Well, goodbye to this place. May the souls of the miners rest in peace. I have to go back and take a couple more photos. I set up a studio in this house and took a couple more photos. There seems to be something strange on them. Let's hang them on the wall and take a closer look. Wait, what does it all mean? Had he been following me all this time? He's here too. In almost all the photos, it can only mean one thing. He's right behind me, isn't it? What kind of device is this? Did he create a telekinetic glove? The one that can move objects with only power of the mind? I can't sit here forever. I have to get out. Judging by the fact that I was locked in a log storage place, I can get it all, and after a while, and using my crafting skills on the table, I will be able to create the very rod with which I can pull up an object that will help me get out. He even left an axe here. I think now collecting logs and processing them into wood planks and then sticks will not be difficult for me. I'm having good luck today. Watch my hands, you can see the magic in action. The crafting table is ready. The fishing rod is ready. It remains a small matter. I'll try to catch TNT. Maybe I can do it. Apparently not. I'll try to pull that glove towards me. Wow, I was able to pull this glove to me the first time. It remains to repeat this success several times so that I can raise it. Still, I'm a better fisherman than JJ. I hope I get there in time and resurrect him faster than the evil preacher gets to him. Now it remains for me to figure out how to use it. I think I should move that TNT closer to the fire. The heating will ignite and explode, releasing me into the wild. Great, I'm free. It's time to get back to JJ. JJ, I'm back. You have no idea what I've been through. Oh yes. You won't be able to answer. Open your mouth wide and eat this mushroom with the potion. This should bring life back to you. A little energy into the ground to start your heart. I did it! JJ is back to life! Mikey, what's wrong? Why are you crying? These are not tears, JJ. It just started raining. Anyway, drink this potion to have a power to move again. Thanks, Mikey. It seems like you really saved my life. Yeah, let's get out of here before some crazy guy sends you to bed again. Let's go to my ship then. Wow, JJ, this ship looks truly amazing. How did you get it? Oh, nothing serious. Just took it away from one of the preachers. I hope he's not too angry about it. I think the animals will be able to swim by themselves. Let's use these guns that I found in the basement. It will be much faster. Come down, Mikey. I want you to help me with something. I'm already coming down! What are you doing, JJ? I'm checking the sails. I'll be there in a second. All right, Mikey. Let me show you the place that sets this ship in motion. This is a boiler room. With the help of steam, it sets everything in motion here. And now be kind and bring me fuel. You have axes, so go get some wood. Well, I hope you'll let me steer this ship after all this. Sure, just get some wood already. Wish you luck. Time to chop down some
and trees. Come here, my precious wood. I got the tree, JJ. Tell me what I should do next. It's just easy as swimming. As you can see, you first set fire to this eternally burning block, after which you just throw some wood there. Oh yeah, don't forget to do it with a lighter. We're not barbarians. Everything looks really simple, JJ. I can't even believe that burning things can be so fun and productive at the same time. That's right, Mikey. Now let's get upstairs. Is everything ready? It's time to hit the road. I mean, to swim through the ocean. That's right, Captain Mikey. Hey, look at that view. Looks awesome. And so I saved JJ and we sailed away from that evil creature together. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like. And subscribe.